Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing a foundation for you guys. This is not necessarily new, but it's new to me. It's the Chanel Ultra Le Taint Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Foundation. So I have another Chanel foundation that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And I was at Ulta and I saw this and it sounded like perfect for the wedding. So I wanted to try this on camera with you guys and see just kind of what it does, give you first impressions, all that fun stuff. So before we get started, as usual, give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much if you do, but if you want to see me review this foundation, stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, guys, like I said, this is brand new to me. I have not tried this. I have another Chanel foundation that I'm going to pull out for you guys right now. It's the Chanel number no. one day Chanel um, revitalizing foundation B40. Okay. Thank God. I got the new one in the shade B40 and I couldn't remember what shade I got this one in. I know it looks very dark compared to me right now, but when I have a tan, it matches me perfectly. So I was trying to pick something that I could get in like a more tan shade because I'm obviously going to be tan for my wedding and just any like special occasion. So I wanted to make sure that the foundation matches when I'm tan versus like pale me. So yeah, I'm glad I got the same shade. But anyways, that was like a rant. I'm obsessed with this foundation. Like I literally love this so much. I just can't even describe it. So I wanted to try like this other version of it I guess because it's supposed to be like an ultra long wearing foundation which obviously you want ultra long wearing for something like your wedding so I wanted to get this try it see what it does for me and then obviously let you know if I think it's worth your money and see if it's a contender for my wedding makeup because I'm doing my own. So I have this pulled up on Ulta. That's where I got it. I'm just going to read the details and then we are going to try this baby out. So it's the Chanel Ultra Le Taint. Sorry if I am mispronouncing that. Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Foundation. Again, I have the shade B40, which I know is going to be a little bit dark for me right now, so don't come for me about that. But when I have a tan, it's going to be perfect. Trust me. This is intense medium shade with neutral undertones, and it's one ounce, so the standard size. This goes for $65, which I know is <laughs> a large price tag. Trust me, it's not easy. <laughs> It was not easy spending that $65, but I was like, if I like it, obviously it's going to be worth it. And $65 to spend for a foundation for my wedding, which I'm going to have pictures of for the rest of my life, very much worth it. If I end up not liking it, I'm going to return it. So yeah, $65, not cheap. And then the summary says a full coverage foundation that provides up to 24 hour wear with a soft matte finish. The lightweight texture glides seamlessly onto skin for all day comfort. Up to 24 hours, exactly what I need. And then a soft matte finish. I'm trying to go for like a soft matte, obviously. And full coverage, I don't normally go for, but for my wedding, full coverage is a must. And then the features say, the liquid formula provides buildable coverage and that lasts in even environmentally strenuous conditions. Enriched with luminous perfection soft focus powder, it conceals visible imperfections and illuminates for the look of smooth, even skin. And then for the how to use, it says use fingers or a foundation brush. So let's open this up out of the package. This is gorgeous. Oh my god. I'm gonna make a whole separate video comparing this one and the other Chanel one, so I'm not even gonna get into that right now. But this packaging is insane. Like, this just looks very expensive. It has, like, that frosted glass. It's definitely glass. Even the cap is adorable. Like, just everything about this screams Chanel. So I absolutely love it. I have some swatches on the back of my hand already that I forgot to wipe off, so please excuse, but I'm just gonna, like... Too much. I'm gonna do a little swatch for you guys on the back of my hand just so you can see how full coverage that is. 
ignore the color i know ignore it but it's full coverage you guys and it feels really really good on the back of my hand so this seems promising to me right now that's really all i have though it does have a little bit of a smell i feel like chanel foundations do have a smell like this smells similar to the La Mer foundation. I specifically remember what that one smells like and I always like, I enjoyed it. This one has a little bit more of a floralness to it, which I don't love, but it's like not that noticeable. It goes away. And if it's anything like the other Chanel foundation, I really don't care because it's so good. I can get past a smell. So I'm gonna use this Morphe E63 brush to apply this to my face. And then we'll talk like initial details right after. So let's get started. Okay guys, I just finished applying to my face. Here we are and I feel really, really good so far. So um, first thing I noticed, obviously color match is not specifically there, but like I said, you guys, trust me, when I have a tan, because I'm at my palest right now, when I have a tan, it's going to match. I have the other one in the same exact shade and it's perfect, so trust me, please. Anyways, second thing I noticed, I was shocked at how thin this foundation is, especially for being a full coverage. Like, you know how with full coverage foundations, they're typically on like the thicker, like a little bit heavier side. This one was really, really thin for being a full coverage, but at the same time, it covered up every single blemish completely. Like I have zero redness on my face. There's zero chance that you can see any of my blemishes. Like it just did such an amazing job of literally like deleting any redness or any kind of blemishes that I had on my face, which is absolutely amazing. Other thing I noticed as far as my pores go, as usual, I'm not wearing a pore filling primer because I wanted to see specifically what this does. I don't think it's doing anything special for my pores. Like it's not blurring anything necessarily, but it's also not accentuating anything. So I feel like if I just added a pore filling primer underneath this, it would be perfect and smooth, um, but it's very smooth just in general on its own. It looks so, so even and so beautiful. And touching my face, it feels like silky soft. Like it doesn't feel sticky at all. It feels like there's no makeup on my face, but it feels silky and smooth at the same time, if you know what I mean. So overall, I just really, really love what this is doing for me right now. But obviously I wanna see how it works with other makeup products because that is equally as important. So I'm gonna go put the rest of my makeup on and then I will be right back to give you guys some final thoughts. Okay guys, I am back. I just finished putting the rest of my makeup on and I'm obsessed. I had a feeling I would be because I just love, love, love the other Chanel foundation. So I had a feeling this was gonna be similar to that but I did not think I was going to love it this much. Like I really, really noticed how much I loved it once I started putting my bronzer on my face, like my powder bronzer, because oh my God, the way it was just gliding off of my brush onto my cheek and just how flawlessly it was like melting into the foundation and just, oh, I cannot even describe it. Like literally just the way that my bronzer went on, my blush went on, my highlighter went on. And these are products that I wear every day or pretty much every time I put my makeup on. And I just feel like they look extra amazing today because of this foundation. And I'm really not just saying that you guys like this looks insane. Like I feel so, so good right now. I feel like I'm having such a good makeup day. Everything looks just so flawless. I don't even have words like I absolutely love this like I feel like I loved it when I initially put it on but now that I have a whole face of makeup on I am like 
at a loss for words like I really even my pores like I feel like it didn't necessarily do anything special for my pores but after putting my whole face of makeup on I just feel like everything looks like blurred and flawless and perfect like I don't even know how to explain it and it may be too dark for me but the undertone is so perfect for me it's just like everything that I could want from a foundation all wrapped into this little bottle right here so oh my god it's a yes the only thing i can't speak to is how long wearing it is because this is just a first impression obviously i will share more about that in a future video for you guys once i play around with this a little bit more because i do want to test this out as far as like being able to wear it for my wedding or like if i want to mix this with another foundation or something like that just some kind of a combo so i'll keep you guys posted on that stuff in the very near future but overall, just as far as a first impression goes, I am blown away by what this did for me and I absolutely recommend. Like I totally, totally think that this is worth it. It is expensive, but the look that I'm getting from this makes it very much worth it. So it is a huge yes, but that's it for today. So comment and let me know what you guys think about how this turned out. Let me know what other products you guys want me to review or just what other videos you want to see. Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.